Hi everyone, welcome to Karen uh, from tillycrafts.co.uk uh, um, Today I'm bringing you a Tilly's Beginner's Tips video and these are all to do with punches um, These great punches all line up with stamp sets and it's just to give you a quick tip on how to stamp them out uh, Now I've already got the ones up that match so this is the butterfly duet punch and it coordinates with the uh the butterfly gala stamp set so i'm just going to show you the best way to line them up we've also got the medium daisy punch and this is the daisy stamp out of uh is it daisy lane yes daisy lane and then we've also got the perennial flower punch and this is comes with the floral essence stamp set and the gleaming ornaments punch there is two there's a big one and a little one and this goes with the brightly gleaming no it doesn't it goes with the christmas is gleaming stamp set right let's show you with the butterfly first let's bring him on memento ink so We've got that lined up and what I do is I look at where your card's going to go in. So your card's going to go in like this. So what you're best off doing is lining your punch up and then you can see that. And then you're stamping this down near the edge like that. So that's it stamped out so that when you pop it in your punch I know you're always best having your punch up this way so you can see what you're lining it's alright if you're not lining the stamp up and you're just punching out but then you can just line it up and punch it out and then your butterflies have perfectly punched out it's got this little bit on here but in the stamp set there is a body that you can stamp on afterwards or you can stamp it on before it depends which way you'd like to do it but that's easier than if you stamp it skew with then you're trying to get your punch round and you can't do it so that's the first one then we have the brightly gleaming and again it's just the same principle so stamp that up and again, look at your punch, it's got to go downwards. So you stamp that up, line it, line it up and punch it out. So you get a perfect punch each time with that. Now this one is the uh, <clears throat> perennial flower punch. And let's look at this one. So for this one, you can see these are down. So whichever way you do it, just make sure you've got your two leaves at the bottom of the punch. So I'm going to, whoops, it's not stuck on my block proper. Just hang on one minute. My block must have been a bit wet. So I'm only using memento black so that you can actually see what I'm doing because sometimes you want to do it in different colours. I'm actually going to uh, punch two out so I can just show you a little something with those but again just make sure you've got your leaves at the bottom. Oops that's a bit stiff that. <clears throat> again line it up the best thing you can hold it a little bit just to check before you actually punch and again with this one like that so you've got them perfectly out but if you cut more than one up you can actually layer them up to make a nice little flower just put a bit of glue on there but you've got perfect petals that you can build up and the last one I'm going to show you is the medium daisy from the daisy lane punch. This is nice one in all different colours but as I said I'm just uh, showing you for in black so it stands out. So again you want to have one of the petals at the bottom like that. I'm just going to do another one. 
So I'll show you, like, if you do it off, like that one's a bit off. So this one, you can line it up like that, punch it out. But this one, can you see, you've got it in straight and you'd have to sort of start twisting it. And if it's not right, you see like that one, you couldn't get it through twisting it that way. You get some in and not others in and that. So that's why you need to, when you're doing it, get your petal at the bottom like that. And then it's easy, straight in, line it up. Whoops. I always shake when I'm doing this. It's silly. And again, with these, these are great ones to layer up so you can make a full flower you could do as many or as little as what you want and you've got a lovely little flower so i hope that's been helpful so it's again look at your stamp uh, look at your stamp look at your punch to see which way it punches out then get your stamp and make sure it lines up the same on the paper and then it's easy to punch out and it's the same with the, with all the stamps, with a stamp, with all the punches, with the stamp set to go, that is the easiest way to do it, and you get good results every time. So I hope that's been useful to you. It's on it like these are only little videos anyway. So there's my uh, perfect punching out, and I well, shall see you again next time. So I hope that's been helpful. Speak to you soon. Bye.